Hey guys and welcome to Ask William. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to swap out an old or smaller drive with a new, bigger or even faster one and all the pitfalls you should avoid. Now, why would you want to install a new hard drive on your PS4? The number one reason for expanding your current storage is to be able to store more games on your base system. Bear in mind that there is a simpler solution for this. Just buy an external drive and connect it to your PS4 via the USB port. You can now select where your games have to be stored by going into settings and clicking on the storage icon. This will show you where your files are stored and how much space you have available. Application and store location will appear underneath the drive that your files are currently being saved to. To change this, go to any of your installed drives, press the select button on your controller and click on Application Install Location. Now select the drive you want your games to be downloaded to. Application Install Location should now appear in the top right hand corner of the drive you selected. If you don't want to go the external route, your second option is to buy a drive with the largest storage capacity. Most entry-level PS4 models comes out with only 500GB of storage. The PS4 Pro comes out with a 1TB drive of which only 862GB is usable to you. For this reason, you might want to consider buying a larger drive. Please remember, your PS4 does have a height and size restriction to the size of the drive that can fit inside. The drive must be a SATA 2.5 inch hard drive no larger than 9.5 mm. I have found that most brands of 2.5 inch 2TB drives fits perfectly into the slot. It is possible to re-upload your current data from the old drive you remove. Please see the backup section of this video. The number two reason for swapping out your hard drive might be because of damage like lightning, power surges or just a regular old crash. In any of these instances, your data will be lost and you will have to reinstall the latest firmware on your newly installed drive. The biggest problem with this scenario is that you will be able to reinstall or download old games, but all your save file data will be lost. Start making a habit of it to back up your save data at least once a month to either an online or USB storage device. An even simpler solution is to use the auto upload function. Please note that the save data online and the auto upload is restricted to PlayStation Plus members only. To back up your save data, simply go to settings and scroll down to application save data management. You can now either upload or download your save data. To do this, select the save data in system storage, then choose either to upload to online storage, copy to USB storage or delete save data from your system. To retrieve data from your online storage, go to Save Data in Online Storage and either download games to your system storage or delete the title. Select Download to System Storage and pick the title you want to download or press the Select button on your remote to select multiple applications at once. To retrieve files from your USB device, select Save Data on USB Storage Device and copy your files to System Storage. To automatically upload your files, Go to Auto Upload, enable automatic uploads and select or deselect the files you want to be uploaded. The third reason you would want to change a drive is to speed up your current console's loading times. This can be achieved by installing an SSD or a hybrid like Seagate's Firecuda 2.5 inch internal hard drive. See my video on loading time comparisons for more information and the advantages of going with an SSD or hybrid drive. If you would like to have an exact copy of what you currently have on your PS4, you will have to create a backup file on an external drive. This could take a long time, so be sure to remove all unnecessary games before you do the backup. Again, a reminder that your saved data, screenshots and video clips will not be backed up. To make a backup, your backup drive must be formatted as XFAT or FAT32. Go to Settings. Scroll all the way down to System. Select Backup and Restore. And then choose Backup PS4. You can now choose what you want to backup. Applications, current save data, captures, themes and settings. Once you are happy with your selections, click Next and your drive will be backed up. Okay, let's get started with swapping out your PS4 Pro drive. 
For this you'll be needing your PS4 Pro, a Phillips screwdriver and your new hard drive. Facing top, turn around your PS4 and then place your finger behind the piece of plastic located next to the Ethernet port and pull it forward till you hear a snapping noise. Then pull it towards you. Now turn the unit upside down and unscrew the PlayStation button screw with your Phillips screwdriver. Place your fingers behind the two external metal ridges and pull the hard drive out of its bay. Using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws holding the hard drive in place from the hard drive bay. Slide the hard drive out of the bay and replace it with a new one, making sure that the drive is upside down and the connectors are facing away from the back of the hard drive bay. Holding the hard drive in place, replace the four screws to re-secure the hard drive to the hard drive bay. With the exposed part of the hard drive facing up, turn it around and place the hard drive back into the hard drive slot on the PlayStation 4. Resecure the hard drive to the unit with the PlayStation button screw. Line up the hard drive bay cover and click it back into place. You are now ready to install your firmware. Go to the PlayStation website at www.playstation.com. The link to this site is in the description of this video. On the main page, click on the help section and then go to hardware. Under hardware and repairs, select the PS4. Now click on PS4 system software. As you enter the firmware page, remember that you are not updating your firmware but that you are reinstalling it from scratch. Scroll all the way down to the section that says download the PS4 reinstallation file. Then click on PS4 reinstallation file. On either Mac or PC, save the file as ps4update.pup on a FAT32 formatted USB drive in a folder you created named PS4 and inside that folder called UPDATE. Make sure that all the files and the folders are in all caps. Now plug the USB drive containing the update into your console's USB port. Start the console in save mode by pressing and holding the power button and then releasing it after you hear the second beep. Now select option 7, initialize PS4, reinstall system software. Select update from USB storage device and select OK. Once your system is restored, log into your PlayStation account, download your games and restore your saved files. If you want to restore your backup, go back to settings, scroll down to system and select backup and restore and choose restore PS4. And there you have it how to swap out an old hard drive for a new one. If you found this video to be helpful, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified about new content on my channel. From me, Ask William, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.